Hello, my name is Pauline Buick and I've brought you into my store to show you where I keep the travelling exhibition. It's a fireproof storage cupboard. It contains the whole lot of the work in the travelling exhibition. It's all gone to Belfast and it's gone to Galway at, so far. It's packed in size. There are standard frame sizes, so it all packs in, not in date order, but uh, the number and the date is written on the side of each frame, so they're pretty easy to access. Um, there are about six or seven uh, big objects, which will have to be packed separately, like a rolled tapestry, a rolled wall hanging, and a large screen, a large yellow man screen. Dancing Girl I was two and a half when I sketched this. My mother kept my work from that age onwards. The first wedding that I ever saw was in Kenmare. This is the school that I went to called Dowrus. Miss Murphy was our teacher. She encouraged me to draw for the class as I was dyslexic. This is a present I gave my mother um, for her birthday. It's our bog. That's me with our pony shamrock. In the early 40s, around 45, 46, we left Ireland and I was taken to progressive schools. I started to get afraid of people. This is a peeping Tom. A laughing Negro. A gypsy. This was like looking into the future. We ended up going to the South Pacific. This is our headmaster, who was a womanizer. My mother made me do another drawing of the same thing. She said it was marvelous, but make it neater. Overhearing a conversation by the progressive school teachers on the subject of abortion, and this is how I interpreted. Everything I drew was really either purging fear or trying to understand. I used my drawing to suss out life. Mr. Butterfield, he taught us boat building of all things. This is a sailor boyfriend of one of the teachers. I was very afraid of him. Nicandra, she actually was Augustus John's model. Very beautiful. Lily, she was one of the girlfriends of one of the teachers. Green Grand Dame. Self-portrait of me. There you can see Pauline G quite clearly. My mother asked me to forget the Buick bit of my signature. She said, just put Pauline G, which is my second name, Pauline Gale. Sheila, one of my best pals. This is Montanotti Cork. Michael O'Shea, my half-brother. Fortune teller man, when I was feeling scared. This is a party of all us teenagers up the Dublin mountains. Falling in love, dancing at hops. Jazz dancing, absolutely love jazz. To this day, I do women fascinated peering at nature. A little row of ladybirds. Stage characters. My interest in mixed races. This is a liner cut. Pat and I dancing with animals. I called it marriage at woodland. A tattooed lifesaver. This is Jamais Bar, a famous pub in the 50s in Dublin. That's my new pedal pusher trousers with Pat on the right and Sebastian in the centre. Singing the blues. This would be influenced by Bessie Smith. 
beche bubbles. We saw a beautiful negress uh, stirring the bubbles out of Sidney Bechet's champagne when Pat and I went to Paris together. We bought a house in Dublin and my mother rented out rooms to students. There were lots of people from Trinidad and Africa and the art school. This is when I got pregnant with our first child, Poppy. My whole body and brain was upset by the change of hormones. This is when Poppy was born and a very demanding breastfeeder. Woman and baby outside Williams. This is Pat, my husband. Uh, he wouldn't read to me, so I painted him with horns. This is a party we had in Hatesbury Lane. Uh, we often had parties there, it was great fun. And on this long pew that I got in a junkyard sits Luke Kelly, the famous singer, the Dubliners, and Sean McRaymond, who was a famous radio personality, and I'm one of those women, I don't know which. Swan Mother. This illustrates the anxiety of a mother uh, grasping her little babies. We're now living in Kerry, and I was suffering from some kind of cultural shock, I suppose, coming from Dublin down to Kerry. So this picture is a woman flying free over the cathedral in Killarney. Again, I was in that strange dreamlike mood having moved to Kerry. I call this floating in Loch Lean. This is a portrait of Poppy, our eldest daughter, and she's making things in a house we bought in Tuscany. This is Holly our youngest, and she is sitting in front of uh, Amaryllis Bud. My mother reading Krishnamurti. She worried about the world and she worried about me too much, I think. Pat with Holly on his knee and the rug over Holly was made by a traveller. Mud bath, a trip we had to St Moritz. For years I had been fascinated by tapestry. This I had woven in Aubusson. Woman, oak and water. It will need a big wall, this wall hanging uh, on canvas. This was painted after a picnic in the woods with the local people in Tuscany. I had a fear of flirtatious men and the wolves recently had been released into the Tuscan countryside. This is another tapestry woven by Regina Barch of Cahar Savine here in Kerry. I'm pretty obsessed with frogs and have done many as a painting of them. This is Sarah Fee in her Fale in Western Samoa. Adam, nine days old, Poppy's second little boy. In broad daylight, a fox came and took one of our fowl. I yelled and shouted at it, but I did realize that she was just taking it to feed her young. Now we come to the yellow man. The yellow man is my uh, ideal being. The yellow man picks figs. This is a ceramic dish, majolica glaze. The yellow man looks at ants walking between his feet. This is a two meter high tapestry woven in silk. He goes to the theater to see a Beckett play. The yellow man at his window looking out at figs. I am yellow, but a mouse sees me as gray. <laughs> 